Hello Cougars, we're going to start our engineering project, our last engineering project of the year. So we learned a lot about different planets. That was one of the great reasons that we did all of that research on our last project. So now you're going to choose one of those planets and you're going to design a parachute to drop a rover that will explore that planet. We need to know a lot about the, the um, atmosphere on that planet because the amount of atmosphere, whether it's a thick atmosphere or a thin atmosphere, will make a big difference on how the parachute falls. In order for us to design a parachute, we need to know what are the parts of a parachute. So here we go. It has a canopy and that catches the air and provides air resistance. It has these lines or the these, this string and it has a load. So in order for us to go out and test it, we need to look, kind of look at what things we can test to find out what are the best designs for a parachute. So we can change the size of the canopy, we can change the length of the line, and we can change the material that the canopy is made out of. So outside, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna test these three things size of the canopy, length of the line, and the type of materials. Hi Cougars, before we go out and test all the materials, I realized that it's really hard to hear my, uh, dis my directions outside. So I want you to know in advance what the actual testing protocol is going to be. So on the first test, I'm gonna test the size of the canopy. I'm gonna test a large canopy, a medium canopy, and a small canopy. On the second test, I'm gonna test a long string, a medium string, and a short string. So it's the length of the string. And the third test is gonna be the test of the type of material. And I'm gonna test a coffee filter, some plastic, a thick cloth, and a sheer fabric, like from a sheer curtain. So when you're outside, when I'm outside, you won't be able to hear me very well. So I'm letting you know what the series will be for the tests that are gonna be outside, okay? Hello, Cougars. So this is Mrs. Belatash, and I'm outside. And remember when we were talking about the parachutes, when we looked at the canopy, we wanted to talk about three different sizes of the canopy. So I have some parachutes that I made and this, these parachutes have three different sizes. I have a small canopy, a medium-sized canopy, and a large canopy. They all have the same length of string and they all have the same load. So we need to make sure that those other things are the same. We're just testing the size of the canopy. Let's get started. We just looked at the size of the canopy and I remember seeing that the large canopy went down the slowest. It was six seconds. It took six seconds for the large canopy to float down to the ground. So that's the first thing that we're going to test. Now we're going to test the length of the line. Let's get started. Okay, so boys and girls, this is the long string. We're going to see how long it takes for the long string to fall. Ready, and 1,001, 1,002, All right, so boys and girls, now we have the medium string. We're gonna see how fast the medium string goes down. And drop, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Okay, and now we have the short string. And 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. So that was interesting, the length of the string. 
I, my prediction was that the long string would be the slowest, but that's not what happened. The long string, I think, took three seconds, but the medium and the short string both took four seconds. This is one of the things I love about science. Sometimes I'm surprised by the results of my experiments. Okay, we have one more test to go. So boys and girls, we tested the size of the canopy. We've tested the length of the string. The last thing that we're gonna test is the type of material that the canopy is made out of. We're gonna test coffee filters, plastic bag, and a cloth. Okay, so this is a coffee filter, medium size, with a medium length of string. Let's go. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Four and a half seconds. Almost five seconds. Okay, boys and girls, this is a plastic bag. So this is a plastic canopy with a medium size. Ready? Okay, so boys and girls, now we finished the experiment, right? We tested the size of the parachute, we tested the length of the string, and we tested the different materials. I found it really interesting, the different materials, because different materials act in different ways. The plastic stops all of the air. It really traps the air. There's a lot of air resistance. The really thin fabric allowed a lot of air to go through, but it fell really smoothly. I think we have to look at all of our data to try to decide how we're gonna design our parachute. Okay, Cougars, so we did our experiment outside, dropping the parachutes. We dropped a large parachute, a medium-sized parachute, and a small parachute. We dropped the long strings, medium strings, short strings. We dropped parachutes made out of paper, plastic, and cloth two types of cloth. So now we've gathered some data. Now what I want you to do is I want you to choose one of the planets that you learned about in our last project. And then I want you to think about what is that atmosphere like? Your job is to drop a uh, robot on the surface of that planet so that we can learn more about that planet. But you need to be able to drop that robot onto the planet and you need to design the parachute that you're going to use to drop that, that robot on there. So you need to know, it, does it have a thick atmosphere or a thin atmosphere? If it's a really thick atmosphere, it's going to, if you make a big parachute, then so much air, so much atmosphere will be trapped in it that'll take so long for your robot to reach the surface. Maybe it won't even make it. But if it's too thin an atmosphere, then it will go down too fast. So your design of your parachute has to match the atmosphere that you're choosing, okay? So you're gonna plan the parachute design. That you're gonna think about the size of the parachute, of the canopy. You're gonna think about the length of the line. And you're gonna think about the type of material. And then next week, we're going to actually design and build it, okay? So today you're coming up with some ideas. Next week is the final design and the build. All right? Great. I'm looking forward to it, Cougars.